And there are more questions about the Athletes' Village today. Information obtained through a Freedom of Information request raises the troubling questions about how Millennium won the bid in the first place. The former president of the NPA is now linked to a construction company that operates under the Millennium umbrella. His name is Paul Barbeau, and while he denies any meaningful connection to the company, documents handed to Global News seem to suggest otherwise. John Daly has more. The Millennium Water website, hyping Vancouver's last waterfront community, is stunning. And so are some of the revelations about the cities and the NPA Council's handling of this property deal. I think due diligence would suggest that, that city officials and the media and others need to take a very, very long, hard look at this and see if there's anything, anything untoward happening here. Again, I'm not suggesting Mr. Bo- Barbo has done something wrong. I don't, I don't know that he has. But this is the kind of due diligence you have to do if you're taking on a capital project of this this dimension, and the city is so exposed here. The boring-looking documents behind the deal illuminate the name Paul Barbeau. It is my pleasure to report that the following have been selected as NPA candidates for mayor. Sam Sullivan. Barbeau was the president of the NPA, stepping down a few months before the NPA-controlled council chose Millennium to develop the southeast corner of Falls Creek and the Olympic Village. The amount of money the city has, has got into this project and related Olympic projects is, is, is a huge number. It's, it's approaching a billion dollars. We need to know where the money, money is being spent, and we need to know because we were promised that we would know. Millennium is the development arm of the Armico Group, headquartered in Paris. The NPA Council picked Armico's Millennium for the massive deal, and Paul Barbeau was the president of the NPA and the president of Armico Construction Limited in the years prior to the award. Yeah, if there was a conflict, we need to get to the bottom of it. But we know that the NPA appeared to be very, very driven to take this bid, almost regardless of uh, what the financial risks were. And we now see the taxpayer according to reports this morning, uh, exposed to very, very serious risks. With Ironically, the Vancouver City report, authored by project manager Jody Andrews, says Millennium's purchase price is the highest. Unconditional, guaranteed, and best of all, there's no risk sharing. Now, Chris Shaw is saying the project should have had an independent auditor. This is far beyond cost overruns. And, and exactly as you say, if they had had those people in place that would have looked at these, these issues and they'd done it in a transparent way, a lot of Vancouverites would not be waking up today and thinking, well, what the heck just happened here? How come we didn't know? How come we weren't told?